Van Halen, Oingo Boingo, and Rick Astley. What do they have in common? They're part of a unique playlist of songs the U.S. Army is rumored to have used to smoke out Panamanian dictator Manuel Noriega from his hideout in 1990. They decide to just go full psychological warfare by just blasting songs day and night. Is this even possible? Does the U.S. military actually use a form of rock and roll mind control to capture Noriega? The story begins in 1983, when Noriega seizes control of Panama. And for years, he enjoys the support of the American government. General Manuel Noriega had been a very important sort of CIA asset. And then it started to turn out that he was very actively involved in the drug trade. The former deputy general manager of the branch says Noriega deposited tens of millions of dollars in drug money at the bank. So the U.S. suddenly realized that he was more of a liability than an asset. December 20th, 1989, the U.S. invades Panama, seeking to capture General Noriega and extradite him on drug trafficking charges. I took this action only after every other avenue was closed and the lives of American citizens were in grave danger. But Noriega escapes and takes refuge inside the Vatican Embassy in Panama City. Noriega was very clever. So he went and locked himself into this little religious fiefdom in the middle of Panama and just holed up in there. And the U.S. had absolutely no authority to drag him out. And here's the U.S. military and the top officials in the United States trying to figure out how are we going to get this guy. The army forms a perimeter around the embassy. They set up loudspeakers to prevent reporters or spies from eavesdropping on their plans. They turn on army radio, which takes requests from soldiers, many trolling the Panamanian dictator. They played the clash doing I Fought the Law. Foreigner in ACDC. Judas Priest, you got another thing coming. Guns N' Roses, Metallica. Van Halen's Panama, which is just hilariously evil. Born to Run, Bruce Springsteen. That is George Bush going, America, mother America. Noriega resists the initial auditory assault, so the Army brings in their psychological operations team to amp up their sonic siege. Then it transitioned into a psyops operation where they were specifically playing music that was targeted to affect his mood to get to him so ultimately he would surrender. This is a common tactic used to break individuals. But after two days, Noriega is in budget, so the military calls out its big guns. Panama's strongman finally meets his match, Mr. Rick Astley. Was Manuel Noriega the first to get Rickrolled? 